Hello and welcome to Mini Music Monday, the musical, the music based subsidiary of the Raw Impressions podcast. Hello and welcome to Mini Music Monday. This week, this week, Wu is heading out on tour. <laughs> this week, Lou is heading out on tour of the Enormodome circuit with Weezer and the Flaming Lips. Dinosaur Jr. will be opening the show with a 25 to 30 minute set. Yay! That's right. Yay! Yeah. And I get to be at the very first show. I'm you're, so excited. You're going to be at the very first show in St. Paul at the en- Enorma Dome. The XL Energy Center. The XL Energy Center. In downtown St. Paul. It's so hard to keep track of the names of all these Enorma Domes. They keep a changing. Do they? Well, this has been the what? XL Energy Center as long as I know. What, in the 90s? I, I don't know. It's been that for a long time. Okay. <laughs> what do you got in your hand there? A guitar? I have a guitar in my hand, but uh, like I really... I wanted to verify something. Okay. I've been telling stories... With me? With you, even oh, yes, okay. I've been very. I've been telling stories about Weezer for a long time. I've met Rivers a few times, mm-hmm. but um, I was told that the Weezer record Pinkerton was influenced by me, like that Rivers liked the Bake Sale record. Really? Yes, and they recorded it in Boston. Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. Okay. And then I'm opening up the CD tray right now. The huh. CD tray has the black, there's the tray on top of it. Yep. Like this, the black CD tray. But when you take the tray off, it reveals a map. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I've and ever I'm noticed looking, that or looked at that. I'm looking at the map and my name is supposed to be on here somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah. What is the map of? I think you need a fucking microscope. Here, you look at it. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Although I have my contacts in, so I can't really. Do you see anything? It's like a it's like a, a map, like an old map, and and the landforms have names on them. Huh. Yeah. Um... And one of the landforms is supposed to be named Barlow something. You know what? If I took out my contacts, I could Dear God, see we're too old to see it now. I can't even see it, honey. Let me try I again. Just, my eyeballs don't work. Let me try again. Let me guess. Let me try again. Okay. So Wait, so did someone tell you this? Is this a someone rumor? Someone told me that. And I've never tried to verify it. And now it's it's so tiny, I can't even see it. Mm. Ah, you shit. need those readers. Shit. Ah, shit. I should have brought my microscope. <laughs> my name is on, on the inner tray... Which is obscured, actually, by this big black piece of plastic. I don't plastic. see it on there, but... It's, it's on, maybe it's on here somewhere. Anyway, I was so told... So you've heard rumor that... I heard rumor that uh, that uh, Rivers was influenced by Bake Sale when he made the Pinkerton record. Can I see what the song list is for Pinkerton? I really remember liking that. I just don't remember ah! exactly the no, song I, listing. No, lo- oh, here it is. Okay, let me see. Damn. Uh, okay. I thought there was going to be a really good reveal there. But, um, so I was told that. And then years later, mm-hmm. years and years later, mm-hmm. like probably almost like 2008 or nine, Rivers came in. Song oh. commencing oh, dang. in five. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look at this for real. Let me see. I know I should get next to you You got a look that makes me think you're cool But it's just sexual attraction It's nothing real so I'd rather keep a whacking Why mother? It's gonna hurt me It's gonna kill when you desert me This happened to me twice before It won't happen to me anymore I've known a lot of girls before the harm in knowing one more I may 
maybe we could even get together. Maybe you could break my heart next summer. But why bother? It's gonna hurt me. It's gonna kill when you desert me. This happened to me twice before. It won't happen to me anymore. I'm all alone I'm not with you, nor her, nor anyone Won't you knock me on my head? You crack it open, let me out of here Why bother? It's gonna hurt me It's gonna kill when you desert me And this happened to me twice before It won't happen to me anymore Why bother? 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 And this happened to me twice before. Won't happen to me anymore. Yeah, I still can't see it. Nah, me either. It's like a, it's supposed to be like a topographical map of his influences at the time. Oh. Yeah. And so there's oh. all these little references to things, all of which are too tiny for us to see. Mm-hmm. With our old eyes. Not with our old eyes. Man, how frustrating. That song was uh, reminding me of Rebound. Was it? I love that song. Mm-hmm. That song mm-hmm. has a chorus you could drive a fucking truck through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of the first times I saw Weezer was with Oasis. No way. And the Speaking lemon, of Oasis. And the Lemonheads and Pavement. We were, this was a festival? It was a festival, and they're all on the same stage. Wow. And Oasis, what a festival. Yeah, but it was before Oasis got big, but I had heard the single, Supersonic. Whoa. So Feeling you... supersonic, give me gin and tonic. You know that song? Yes. And uh, so I was like, I can't wait to see this band that plays in their coats and, and frowns. I was like, that <laughs> sounds awesome. And they. And, so uh, what festival was that? I believe it was Lowlands. Where was that? Nederland. What year? Do you know? No. So it was... I don't know, 94, 90s. 95. I should have done some yeah. homework once so wait, again. So you were with Sebado. I was with Sebado. Sebado actually played the stage too. It was crazy. Really? Yes, it was okay. like... A, we played earlier in the day, ob- Obvi. <laughs> er, way down in the lineup, Obvi. But it was mm. like, I'm pretty sure it was like us and then like... I don't know. It was great. It was a great day. That sounds like a, a bunch like a of my really favorite, great day. A bunch yeah. of my favorite pop bands played that day, including Pavement and and Weezer. And Weezer were great. And the Lemonheads. The original lineup of wow. Weezer, Weezer were great. And uh, but years later, uh-huh. uh, Rivers came to my house on New on excuse me on Christmas Eve. Wow. He called me up out of the blue and he's like, "Can I come over?" And I'm like, "Okay." Like we weren't real buds or anything, but we knew each other and he had my number. So uh-huh. he came over on Christmas Eve. Wow. Because he wanted to observe me and uh my oldest daughter. Wow. The oldest daughter of uh-huh. the Barlow clan. Uh uh-huh. he wanted to he wanted to see how I interacted with her. Because he was going he was about to be a father. He was going to be a father. I'm uh-huh. not sure if his partner was pregnant at the time. Or whether he was just planning it out. He seems very methodical. Oh, so he was doing research. And like I've heard that Pinkerton was actually his thesis for Harvard. So he he was in Boston going to Harvard and he recorded this record, I think, at Fort Apache. I could be, I should have done some research before I did this. (laughs) These are big, this this is a lot of. some big statements you're making. Yeah. Big info. But I heard that Pinkerton was his thesis. Huh. And it was the second Weezer record after the Blue record. The Blue record is the record that they shall be commemorating yes. on this upcoming tour. Which is, that's a real fun one. I don't think I've ever seen Weezer play. I, I just, <sighs> yeah. But, oh yeah, I was going to say when he came to visit me uh-huh. on Christmas Eve, uh-huh. he was working on a record with uh, Rick Rubin at the time. Oh, which one? I'm not sure. Okay. But Rick Rubin played Neil Young and Bob Dylan for him for the first time. Really? So I was really impressed. I was like, wow. How'd you, Ru- how'd you get that far without hearing all that? How did, how did he yeah, get that far? Yeah. I think Rivers is so hyper-focused. Huh. He's extremely focused. So 
but it did because I was when I found out that he was influenced by Bake Sale, I was like, or me, or had somehow supposedly. Okay. Supposedly. <laughs> supposedly, my name is in this, this CD tray pamphlet here. Neato, this thing. mosquitoes. Okay. But, but it made, when I when I found out years later that he'd never even heard Neil Young, I'm like, no wonder he put bass. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you truly have to not have heard Neil Young. Because once you hear Neil Young, I mean, it's like, Seba, Seba, what? Oh, Lu Who? Lu Bulu? <laughs> No, I mean, you, you, you think Lou Bulu's good until you hear fucking Neil Young. Oh. And you hear Bob Dylan's tongue. Well. Rapping around a song. Come on, sir. You've well, earned a spot. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see. You know, it's interesting because Rivers mm -hmm. Cuomo. Yes. And Wayne Coyne. Yes. Are like opposites. Interesting. Okay. Like they are the most opposite people. Really? Like, you know, within my realm of like musicians, uh huh. indie, I would say, in a, in a Very, way. Very, indie. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. even though Weezer kind of came right out with a huge record, but nonetheless, still, still, yeah. you know, alternative, I would say, but definitely. Those two, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, am I going to see Wayne and Rivers together? Yeah. I'm really Have they interested. Hung out? Do they know each other? Oh, who knows? When you say they're opposite, like in what way? Personality. Okay. What's, personality. What's Wayne's personality like? Wayne is the most gregarious, like <laughs> he is like PT Barnum. I mean, this guy is like a circus leader. He is talking. He is like instructing. He is a huge personality. He's tall. I think he's tall. He seems tall to me. Uh-huh, because he's got a big personality. He's got a huge personality, and he is just commandeering all of these things around him. And as I am really excited to see the Flaming Lips again perform. It'll be my only my yeah. second time seeing them perform since I saw them at First Avenue in the 90s for the Soft Bulletin. And uh, Semido toured with them. To the but Soft I didn't Bulletin. see them on that one. You them yeah. <laughs> who's that subtle band anyway i don't know who opened for them or with them yeah they had they had they, they did several tours for the soft bulletin the first of which subbito opened for them okay yeah and the first song that i heard by the flaming lips uh-huh was called with you okay and i'm gonna play a little bit of it of it please of do it, of it please do i'm trying to redeem i have to say i think this is a pretty i think the reason why i've noticed the sales have been good like there's shows that are sold out on this tour and a lot of bands are having to cancel you know tours and things like that it's because this is just a really good lineup it's actually this one this one's really smart it's fun it's a real fun scratches a good itch I'm glad that Weezer can still fill Enorma Domes. Me too. It's great. I'm glad because they're like... Well, and the Flaming Lips because they do such a big grand thing, don't they? With like a, ball, yeah. balls flying around. I don't know. Okay. I'll find out. When I walk with you, I feel weird. <laughs> when I talk to you, I feel weird. When I'm standing here, I feel strange. When I'm standing near, I feel strange. All that I know is my mind is blown when I'm with you. I'm with you When I walk with you I feel weird When I talk to you I feel weird When I'm standing here I feel strange I'm standing here, I feel strange. Well, all that I know is my mind is blown when I'm with you. When I'm with you. When I'm with you. When I'm My mind is blown when 
I'm with you. <laughs> and on that, <laughs> Mini Music Monday concludes. Ugh. Thank you for listening. <laughs> That's a beautiful song. The, the version of the song that they did, they would go fucking crazy. It would just turn into this huge swirling Ugh. sonic youthy style yeah. breakdown but it's a beautiful song god i love that song wow that was the first fleming lip song that i fell in love with back in like 1980 yeah six seven five <laughs> oh my gosh it's gonna be so fun you and your old old peeps all right We'll be back, and then uh, we'll be in Minnesota. We'll be coming to you from from St. Paul, Minnesota, next time you hear from us. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. The crap, that song's going to make me cry. Raw Impressions. <laughs> <laughs>